Hello guys! If you want to start detailing steel in advanced steel, this tutorial is for you. In few videos I will show you how to make a complete project from start to finish. I will show you entire procedure from setting up a new project to making a final set of drawings and also how to make revisions to your project. We will be making all of this based on maintenance steel platform for Chicago Transit Authority. In this video I will show you how to create levels in advanced steel. This is not a standard advanced steel project but because of that I have decided to share it with you. Once you get the idea how to detail this platform making any other project will appear super easy. Stick around and check out other videos in this playlist. Consider subscribing, don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified instantly whenever I upload a new video. The project file is available on my website for free, link in the description below. If you need to buy advanced steel software check out my link below to get a nice discount. Now we are in advanced steel. I have opened a project where I have a grid already drawn. You can get this grid file on my website. I have posted a link to the project file below the video. Feel free to download and open this file. We have to make several levels to attach structural members to those levels. The project is then well organized and you will have less problems in the future when doing that way. Here I am showing the section of the platform with highlighted crucial dimensions. Please note that the height of the W6 by 20 beam is 6.2 inches and the height of the W5 by 19 beam is 5.15 inch. Go to the Home tab, open Project Explorer and then click on the Create Level above. It doesn't matter that you don't have any levels created yet. The Create Level dialog box will open. Here you specify the parameters for your new level. Since this is going to be our level 0, I just hit OK. Your new level has been created. You can now see new red level mark appeared in your draw. Let's create more levels. Again, go to Create New Level in Project Explorer. Change the altitude. Since this is going to be top of my W6 by 20, I have inputted a number 6.2 inches into the dialog box. Hit OK. Go to create new level in Project Explorer. Change the name to level 1A. Change the altitude to 13, 316 of an inch, since our next level will be 7 inches above the last level. Hit OK. As you see, more levels in red are visible in now in our drawing. Hit Create New Level in Project Explorer. Change the name to Level 2. Hit OK. Your new layer will appear in the project. Hit Create Level. Change the name to Level 3. Change the altitude to 57 and 316 of an inch, above the level 0. Hit OK. Level is in your project. Next hit Create New Level and change its name to Level 4. Change the altitude to 93 and 316 of an inch. Hit OK. Level is in your project. Now let's create levels below the level 0. Press Create Level. Change on the tab to Add Bit Level Below. Change the name to Level Minus 1. Change the altitude to Minus 5532 of an inch. Hit OK. You will see your level below the level 0 in your project. Now create new level. Call it level B, B, P, since it will be bottom of our platform. Change the altitude to minus 47, 5 and 32 inches below the level 0. Hit enter. All the required levels are created for our project. 
If you click on front view in the view cube, in the top right corner you will see all the created levels marked in red. Now you can compare the initial drawing with our final drawing if they match. You can see that the values in the model used in the Project Explorer. Now if you want to make changes to your level altitude because you made a mistake, simply click on the level, you want to adjust click properties, change the base level to level 0, change the proper altitude of the layer and hit OK. Your level will be adjusted to the proper height. In the next tutorial, we'll be creating beams for this project. Check it out.